among the non-kosher insects and animals that we are prohibited from eating is that which moves along its stomach. Rashi quotes in the Talmud that this is a reference to the Nachash, the snake, that we're not allowed to eat of the snake. The Talmud teaches that the snake is actually a reference to the Yetzahara, the evil inclination, that demon inside of us that's trying to tempt us and to bring us to sin. And the way the snake moves along its stomach is the way that the Yetzahara works with us. You see, if the evil inclination would come to us and convince us to sin, we wouldn't listen. We're upright, God-fearing, moral people. Why would we sin? So what does it do? It initially entices us to indulge in the mundane, to move along the ground, to overindulge in the material pleasures of the world, to turn our eyes away from the heavens, from purpose and meaning, and to turn our eyes down to the ground to benefit and enjoy the pleasures of the world. And the moment we do that, that's how the Yetzahara, the evil inclination, gets in. Because the more indulged we are in physicality, the easier it is to entice us to sin. So the way we counteract the evil inclination, which is like a snake, the Torah tells us, don't eat of the snake. Don't behave like the snake. Don't move along the ground with your stomach, but rather look upwards, turn towards meaning and purpose and a greater good. Stay away from overindulging in the physicality and the mundane, and that will make sure that you stay away from the hands of the Yetzirah, the evil inclination. Shabbat Shalom.